So here's a quick video about looking at the special cases for absolute value inequalities. If we look at this situation, this is what we had already in the notes, and we could solve this inequality by isolating our absolute value bars. To isolate them, the first thing we would do is add 5 to this. So if I add 5, I now have 27 on the right side. And then we would divide by 3 and get 9. With this kind of inequality, it's set up nicely to get two solutions. Um, and then we can look at that solution region. But for a special case, we want to think about what happens when it's a negative value on the other side of the equation. So back in um, really module one, we looked at things like, what if we had 2x minus 1 equals, and it was like a negative value. We had a question really that said something like, what value of b would make this equation no solution? And that meant it had to have a negative solution here. All right, so if we had an absolute value inequality where we're isolating it down and we end up with something like this, the absolute value x minus 8 is less than or equal to negative 10. You've worked all the way down, you got to your absolute value bars, but you want to stop here because the absolute value is going to always give us out a positive output, some positive number. That positive number will never be less than a negative. So this has no solution for this. There's no way that we're ever going to get a solution that comes out less than negative 10 because we're always going to have a positive value no matter what we plug in. So in the same case, what if it had, say, greater than or equal to negative 10, or even just greater? I'm always going to have a positive output, so we want to pause when we have that negative and think about, is this going to be no solution? If I always get a positive, that positive is always greater than negative 10. So this has all solutions, all real numbers for our solution. So we're looking at something here that had no solution, um, but here our solution is from negative infinity to positive infinity. We've got all real numbers that work. So anytime you are solving out an equation, um, if we're working through here, you want to think about isolating your absolute value bars strictly greater than negative 14. We divide by 2, and now we've got a negative 7. So we want to consider what case are we looking at. If this had been a negative 2, though, when I divide, I get a positive, and we don't have that case where it's a no solution or all real numbers. Instead, we can work it out all the way and get our two solutions and find our solution region. So we didn't have this in the notes. Um, I apologize for that. But right now, make sure that you kind of go through this and familiarize the special cases just in case.